Some nutrients are very stable in the soil, but others are not quite so stable, so we've got to manage them a little bit closer. Today we're going to focus on one of those more unstable nutrients, it's nitrogen. Okay, the most important thing you need to know about nitrogen management in the soil is you've got to get a cation exchange capacity test when you're doing soil testing. And that number is going to tell you the overall holding capacity of your soil. A simple way to use that for nitrogen is multiply your cation exchange capacity, or CEC, times 10. So for example, let's say that on some of our ground we had a 13 for cation exchange capacity. That soil could hold approximately 130 pounds of nitrogen at any one time. Well, if we're going to raise a 200 bushel corn crop, how much nitrogen are we going to throw out, Darren? Probably close to 200 pounds. <laughs> I mean, I know for sure it's going to be more than 130 pounds. The point is, if you've got soil like that, you need to split apply your nitrogen. You're going to have to do something different than the old plan of, well, I'm just going to throw all my N out in the fall. Well, you can do that. There's nobody stopping you from doing that, but what we're trying to tell you today is unless you figure out a way to do it right yourself, eventually the government's going to regulate what you do and they're going to tell you how to farm. So we've got to be good stewards of our land, good stewards of our water, and make sure that we don't overdo it with nitrogen in many soil types. And this problem is going to get worse in the future because cation exchange capacity doesn't change much from year to year, but you know what? Our yield goals do. It wasn't very many years ago. Our yield goal was 150. Now it's 225. Pretty soon it's going to be 300. Well, you get a soil like this where the CEC in this particular field is closer to 25. Well, you say that's 250 pounds I can put out. Sure. But yeah, when we get to 300 bushel corn, all of a sudden it's more nitrogen than what we can handle. So it yeah. really doesn't matter where you're at right now. You obviously have to manage for this year, but you do have to think about the long term that eventually you're going to have to change your methods if you're putting all the nitrogen on at one time. So that comes down to spoon feeding at different times and also as you're kind of pushing the limits. Let's say you've got that 13 CEC so you can put 130 pounds out. Let's say you want to put that full 130 pounds out. How do you make sure it sticks? Which one of the nitrogen stabilizer products do you use? Well, there are a lot of good products out there. Nutrisphere N is one of the most popular. There's also Instinct and NSERV. And it's not only keeping that nitrogen in place and not losing it, but it's also the fact that now it's kept in the ammonium form longer. And sure, plants can bring nitrogen in, in the nitrate form, but when they bring it in in the nitrate form, they have to convert it back to ammonium and use more energy. So what I'm trying to say is the longer you can hold nitrogen in the ammonium form, the better it is for your crop. Well, when I said that nitrogen is a little bit unstable in soil, what I meant is that soil has a negative charge. And when nitrogen gets into that nitrate form, nitrate has a negative charge. So when you've got a negative and a negative, they repel. And so that nitrate in a negative form stays in the soil water and it can move down or it can move across. It can move around in the soil. It doesn't stay where you put it. When you have ammonium form nitrogen, that's a positive charge. And a positive charge will hook up with that negatively charged soil particle and it'll stay in place. And that's the big thing. That's what we want to try and keep. If you spoon feed your nitrogen, so you put a little bit out at a time in that ammonium form, it's going to stay in the soil a little bit longer before you have any issue with leaching. So that's a good thing for the plant. And as you're pushing the rates a little bit, this gets to be even a bigger deal. One of the things we've spent a lot of time talking about in Ag PhD over the last couple of years has been tiling. If you improve drainage on your farm, you will get better yields, you'll make more money, and if you do tile right, you'll actually improve the environment. It's a proven fact. You'll reduce erosion, you'll reduce phosphorus in water. It's a great thing for the environment if you do it right. The only thing you have to watch a little more closely when you've got tile in the ground is nitrogen. We don't want to lose it down in our soil, so now you really have to pay attention to what's my soil type and how much nitrogen can I put on at any one time. I don't want it getting down in that tile line. Well, just because you've got drainage tile does not mean you're going to have more nitrates leaving in that tile water. In fact, we've done a number of tests on our own farm showing that we can still keep that nitrogen in the soil. It's not necessarily going to leave with the water that goes out your tile line. However, you do have to be careful. So pay attention to what crop you're raising. Start using some of these nitrogen stabilization products like a Nutrisphere N to try and hold that nitrogen where you put it. And you may consider starting to spoon feed, even where the CEC is 25. And you say, I'm only raising 225 bushel corn. I can get by putting it out at one time. Maybe say, you know what? Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to spoon feed it. I'll put 100 out in a couple different applications. That way I can perhaps use a little bit less nitrogen, 
but you're a lot less likely to have any nitrogen loss. The last thing that I wanted to focus on here is it's not just loss going down in the ground, it's also loss going up in the air. We're on the river bottom here, we're just near the river, and the ground is so flat here, it can get flooded easily. So we never put nitrogen on in the fall here, ever. We always do it in the spring and after flooding season, basically, because we don't want to lose that nitrogen up in the air. Nitrogen is expensive, so we've got to be careful for the environment. We also have to be conscious of our pocketbook. We don't want to spend any more dollars than we have to. Well, nitrogen is the nutrient that your crops like corn and wheat need the most of, so it's important that you manage it very well to make more money on your farm and leave the environment in better shape. Well, another thing your crop has to have if it's going to have a good yield is great weed control. We'll tell you how to stop this weed coming up next.